my name is Kelo and I have a Honda Monkey Bike 2019 edition with me. It is 125cc, 6.9 kilowatts. So it's not very like high road, highway capable bike because um, the top speed of this bike is about 90, 100, 110 kilometers per hour. And if you want to go to a highway, then probably it's not the very best idea. But otherwise, um, off roads like this one, smaller roads, not that fast roads. This bike is very suitable for this kind of roads, and especially it's a very good city bike for short rides, for example. Uh, because the engine is air cooled, so in hot days or if you're riding slower, then you have to make sure that it doesn't get too hot. Then you have to cool it off a little bit. But um, in city, roads like this, very nice. Um, these are stock tires over there <laughs> and over here. And um, these are, I think, about like 30% off-road capable. And um, the tires are quite wide, a little bit small. But actually, the thing that it, they're wider makes them... I think quite nice off-road bike um, tires so it's shorter and a little bit like lower than the most bikes are and these bikes these kind of bikes are suitable for ladies like me I'm like 163 centimeters I think and 55 kilos so this bike it's very easy to maneuver it's very very easy to move it around it's not that heavy it's like 107 kilos I think. The tank is small. The fuel consumption is about like 1.5 to 1.7 kilometers. I mean liters per 100 kilometers. So it depends if, if you are going out on a windy day, if there's a heavier person on the bike, so it's so and so. But um, I wouldn't want to have a bigger fuel tank for it because I think it's it's very suitable for it and and if you are dreaming of a bigger tank or bigger engine, more powerful bike, then it goes heavier as well. Uh, the other thing that I like about it is the seating position. Um, me being a smaller girl, it's very easy for me to uh, ride with it because my hands are free. I, I can sit upright and I feel very, very comfortable with it. Um, also, this seat, it's like cushion you feel that you're sitting on a couch and see it's very like soft and very very you know nice bike and, and people actually do forget that they've been riding for a while while on this bike because you don't get tired your legs are kind of in a normal seating position one thing that i don't like about this are those mirrors <laughs> they they're very nice looking mirrors but uh, but uh, you don't see too much from the, the mirrors because I very often I kind of have to, you know, lean back and see what's going on. Even if I've adjusted them more, they kind of like too small. So people tend to change them, and as well as um, the rear shocks because uh, the heavier guys and taller guys, it's it's like too soft for them, and um, it's not very good. But for me, for a girl like me, it's very nice, it's very comfortable. Even if you go into a small ditch or for um, what kind of roadblock or something, then it, you can just go over it and it doesn't hurt you and just hurt the bike and it's like, it's, um, it's like a bicycle with a motor, <laughs> basically. And it's very, very nice. Um, what people have said about this bike, the chrome parts like, like um, the mirrors or or these things over here they tend to rust but there are solutions for these things so it's not a big thing another thing that i do like about this bike is that um, it's very quiet you can't really hear it when it's coming or going this um oh you can't see it i have to show it from the other side the um the exhaust system here is the stock one so it's, uh, it's, it's quiet, it's nice, and um, many people actually change it 
to be louder, you know, to be like kind of more, to give it, give, give you a more like powerful feeling, but I, I don't really see the point of it, especially mm -hmm. if I want to ride on the road like this, where you have a chance to see rabbits or foxes or deers or other animals, you don't want to scare them off because, uh, you know, they're looking for food, they're looking for some nice time and then somebody comes run, run, run. I don't think it's a good idea for them. Anyway, so I like quieter bikes, so this bike is for me. accelerate this bike from the traffic lights because it's um, lightweight it goes very quickly and and um, what else do you need <laughs> so um, I do not know how it is to maintain this bike how much do the spare parts cost because uh, since we don't have too many bikes here in Estonia and this is relatively new bike, so you can't uh, get any used parts probably. So it might be a little bit difficult or more difficult than with other uh, most common bike brands. But um, according to the world's experience, this bike is quite uh, resistant and um, people are very pleased with this bike so I'm hoping I will get the same kind of experience mm -hmm. lots of people here in Estonia think that the bike is a bike when when it has at least 1000 cc and it's a heavy bike and it's a, it's a racing bike and then you have a then you're a real biker then you know how to ride come on listen if you're a newbie biker you don't know how to lean you don't know how to use the clutch and the and you don't know how to brake and you don't know how the bike reacts and if you if you use the rear brake or this uh, front brake and and um, you don't even know how to balance the bike come on you don't need a big bike for it lots of big bike owners in, in the world they say that this bike gives you this riding joy really the um, the ability to enjoy just riding without struggling with the bike that it's too heavy, it's too it's too quick, it's too fast, it's too whatever. This is like a holiday bike, this is a Sunday bike, it's just a having fun bike. And um, I think that's it. <laughs> Don't feel discomfort with what kind of bike you have or with what kind of bike you want to get if you want to if you if you want to go to race races or if you want to race with that bike if you want to go very very fast well that's your choice don't kill yourself okay but uh, for me look at the scenery it's, it's really nice and um, I like it because I can go to city with it I can ride smaller roads with it I can uh, ride off-road with it and it's really really nice little adventure bike there's a very good YouTube motorcycle channel called Motorcycle Adventures. It's run by Pavlin from Bulgaria. And he always says, weight always matters. And it does. If you have to pick the bike up or, or if you have to turn it around and uh, get out from somewhere where it's difficult to ride, then it, the weight always matters. Because I tried <laughs> with harder heavier bikes like this Honda CGF 600 so I tried to get it off from the forest show no way I couldn't even move it with, move it like by inch because it's like over 200 kilos bike for me this is crazy but this one I can more or less handle depends on the situation but on a road like that to turn it around to pick it up it's easy 
So the bike ride needs to be fun, easy, not that life threatening. Uh, by the way, with this kind of bike, this monkey bike, people have arranged races, and then I knew I know some people who had very bad accidents with this bike, like broken both of their legs, both of their legs, and, and stuff. So uh, be safe, have fun. Uh, buy yourself a bike that you are going to enjoy and don't care about the others what they say if you want to have a small bike go for it if you want to have a bigger bike then go for it but definitely don't go for a bigger bike if you would enjoy a smaller bike and all your friends are saying no it's a tiny bike it's for children but it's not it's for me and it's for everybody else who likes this bike Peace.